coming here is just a mental torture. This is a prison. I once made a video about fake asylum seekers and illegal immigrants causing havoc in Europe and weighing down on European resources without trying to contribute to the economy in any way. This platform demonetized that video, labeled it unsuitable for advertisers, but that wouldn't stop me from making another video, okay? If something needs to be said, best believe I'm going to say it, okay? Irrespective of what this platform thinks. But before we go further with this video, I need you to understand that I'm not against immigration, okay? I am against illegal immigration. I am not against asylum seekers. In fact, I sympathize with them and wish them safety in safe countries. But I am against fake asylum seekers, okay? And I am also against ungrateful and whiny asylum seekers, be them fake or legal. Now, this video is coming from the UK, but if you're American or any other nationality, don't go anywhere, okay? Watch it. It's really important. Before we get to this video though, please do well to subscribe to my channel if you've not already. Like and share this video to keep people informed and consider joining my membership as a way of supporting the channel because most of my videos are extremely demonetized. Coming here is just a mental torture. This is a prison. Now, to give a little backstory here, this woman is a refugee in the UK and she has been given temporary accommodation by the UK government. But she has something to say regarding that. This is wrong. This is wrong. What they're doing to people is wrong. Trust me, it's not the right thing to do. Because how can you be at home and you can't even live like home? Three kids are sleeping in one tiny room. I can show it to you. Me and my baby were sleeping there. This place is just a ridiculous place they could ever offer to anybody. This is a place for animals, not for human beings. Because human beings deserve to be in a home. This is a container. It's where people keep their storage. We are not animals. We are not storage. We are not furnitures. We are human. We have life too, you know. And this is just ridiculous, seriously. I guess you guys are slowly getting the gist, okay? She's basically complaining about the temporary accommodation given to her and her kids by the UK government. It is really important to understand that the UK government takes care of these asylum seekers, both real and fake, with taxpayers' funds, okay? Citizens' money. What usually happens is that when these asylum seekers come into the UK, they are being given temporary accommodation by putting them in decent living spaces that are available at the moment. Then with time and if better spaces are made available, these asylum seekers and refugees will be upgraded to a more comfortable place, still at the expense of the taxpayer the taxpayer practically takes care of everything from their accommodation food or medicine even pocket money okay and this is why i have a problem with whiny and ungrateful asylum seekers no real asylum seeker would complain in this situation if anything they would be thankful and grateful that they are alive and that they have a roof over their head you have people from underdeveloped countries posing as asylum seekers because they do not want to go through the normal and rigorous immigration process, okay? They disguise themselves as asylum seekers and pass so many safe countries without seeking asylum there, only for them to pay people to smuggle them into the UK through the English Channel, and then they tell the UK government that they are asylum seekers. I must say this though, not all asylum seekers are fake but most of them are. And the easiest way to spot the fake ones is when you see them demanding for more from the government. That able-bodied young man is complaining that the government has not given him pocket money for almost three months. Look at him. He does not work. Loiters around all day and complains of pocket money from the government. These are the people the government is servicing with hard-working taxpayers' money. Coming here is just a mental torture. As you can see, coming here is just mental torture. It is prison. They had it better in their country. These people do not realize how ungrateful they sound. I mean, there is a housing crisis in the country you were given asylum. The country is overrun with homeless illegal immigrants 
refugees and asylum seekers are uncountable. Millions of people are homeless. There is a great strain on the limited resources in the country. There are too many refugees and homeless illegal immigrants, but very few houses to accommodate all of them. The government is trying to make sure that they keep you safe by putting a roof over your head, yet all you do is complain and complain and complain. Those who live in distant apartments are complaining. They want a bigger place. Those who live in hotels complain of the taste of food they are given. Those who live in good homes are complaining of pocket money. It is always give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. The government should give me this. The government should give me that. But it is never what can I do to contribute to this beautiful country that took me in in my time of need. Assuming they are real asylum seekers, by the way, which I'm guessing they are not. Where is the father of those children? How entitled can you be? Now, if these people are real asylum seekers, this is what their lives looked like, okay? Let's say Earth is no longer fit for habitation. The air is toxic. People are dropping dead from inhaling the toxic oxygen. And if you don't die from the poisonous air, you will be killed by the aliens that have completely overtaken our planet. Now, it happens to be that Mars is safe and habitable. And Martians are willing to take you and your four kids. But due to the increase in population and decrease in resources, you and your kids might have to live in a trailer or a tiny home temporarily until you can find your footing. Wouldn't you be grateful to be alive and well with your kids living temporarily in mass, although in a tiny house or even staying in a trailer park? Come on, think about it. These people, if they are real asylum seekers, they are coming from war-torn nations like Afghanistan, Syria, Somalia. Their country people are being unalived by their brothers and sisters. Their own life is in danger. They fled their own country, leaving behind their properties, friends, memories, trying to protect their lives. But when they are offered protection and more by these European countries, they are more concerned whether they get to live in a container house or a five-star hotel. If this isn't pure entitlement, then I don't know what is. But seriously, what is wrong with this container home? It has everything they would ever need. It has a kitchen, it has a bathroom, it has a bedroom. It protects them from the elements. It keeps them safe. Aside from the aesthetic satisfaction, what can a hotel serve that this container home cannot provide? Tell me, this photo goes to show that these so-called asylum seekers are mainly looking to milk these European countries dry while offering nothing in return. The only people I pity in this situation are the poor hardworking taxpayers whose taxes are used to fund these people's lifestyle as opposed to using the tax money to better the lives of the bona fide citizens. We have homeless people, homeless citizens, being neglected by the government. They are living out in the open, exposed to, to the elements, okay? To the harsh weather conditions, hungry and in pain. They would do anything to be in these container homes. Yet, no one cares about them, okay? But these refugees get to complain about nonsensical things like this. There's a reason why Pakistanis are fleeing their safe country to come and seek asylum in the UK. I mean, Pakistan gives asylum to people from surrounding nations like Afghanistan, yet, Citizens of Pakistan who are under no threat for anything are seeking asylum. There's a reason that Albanians are fleeing their safe, war-free country to request for asylum in the UK. They know that the government of these European nations would literally bankroll their lifestyle and do whatever they ask of them, okay? That is why they are coming. In fact, this is just the beginning. The worst is yet to be seen. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video and you are welcome to drop your comments in the comment section below. But do so respectfully. If you enjoyed this video and would love to support my channel, consider joining my membership. This is not compulsory anyway. It is all up to you. Also, like and share this video to keep people informed and hope to catch you on my next video. For now, peace.